What a fucking day. What a fucking beautiful day once again. More upside on S&P 500, more upside on AMC. This shit looks amazing. Genuinely, this looks amazing. SPY's high of the day, 418.50 roughly, expecting more upside on SPY. AMC's high of day, 10.69, expecting more upside on AMC. Um, I have somewhere to be after this, after this video, so I'm gonna try to get through this quick today. And that's it, you know, I'm not gonna go crazy over anything, just really covering the day, what I'm expecting tomorrow. And that's pretty much it. Tomorrow's video will likely be a little bit more in depth, but we'll start off with SPY. Um, which from Friday's bottom at 409 has been nothing but climbing to the upside here. High of day 418.51, I believe today. Um, looking for more, ups more upside here. I mentioned in my video yesterday, the side-by-side -side macro, all-time highs to the bottom and 460 to the bottom, looks amazing. Um, symmetrically, this looks amazing. Checking off the 410 landmark to the downside, now looking for upside to 450. Uh, short term, we're looking for 420. 420 plus roughly before we see any kind of pullback. Um, so 420 pullback and then just continued higher highs and higher lows here. I'll continue to track this as it goes, uh, but this looks good. Looking for more, more upside on SPY tomorrow. Great day, great day all around. Nothing but green today. Into AMC. And again, I'm gonna skip the macro today. We'll just I'll just go over the important charts for now. Um, the flat portion being number one. I go over this every single day. I'm not gonna do it again. So the 2021 cycle on the left, knifing down to your third bottom all-time low. Current cycle on the right, knifing down to your third bottom all-time low. The uptrend, the pullback, and the chop zone. The uptrend, the pullback, and the chop zone. And then January 15th, this green candle right here is the end of the macro. That is where we are. We're in the process of playing out January 15th. Um, I mentioned all last week, and in my video yesterday that this uptrend, the January, the January 15th uptrend would likely take all of this week and half of next week heading, heading into earnings. Um, once again, the date range now, we are now eight days away. So from the beginning until your peak of the 2021 cycle, 342 days. In the current cycle, from the beginning to where we are today, 334 days. We are now eight fucking days away from being one-to-one -one with the flat portion with that eighth day landing on November 8th earnings. This looks fucking amazing. Uh, expecting more upside here. This looks great. Just look at it, would you? Very choppy here, fighting for the 20 EMA. Claimed it yesterday, more upside today. This looks amazing. Pretty much closed at high of day today. Not even a fucking wick on this daily candle. Looks amazing. Um, Moving on into the flat portion zoomed, here it is. So here is your third bottom all-time low in 2021 and your third bottom all-time low currently. I don't know why this keeps doing this. Again, this is that older chart. So all the landmarks, I went over this yesterday. I'm gonna try to just fly through this. So here's your rejection, here's your rejection, the pullback in the chop zone, pullback chop zone, double top, double bottom, double top, double bottom. 1070 wick, this was the equivalent right here, didn't quite get the wick. Uh, then you come back down, ascending lows here, ascending lows, and then you get into January 15th, which is where we are now. We're in the process of playing out the January 15th daily candle. Again, this is gonna take all of this week and half of next week. And right now we're in the process of playing out this candle right here. Um, <clears throat> We're looking for 10, for, sorry, 11.60 tomorrow. I would say 11.50 to 11.80, uh, I'm looking for tomorrow's high of day. I said today's high of day would be 10.50 to 10.70. Don't expect anything past that. Today's high of day, 10.69, fucking nailed it. Um, tomorrow, high of day, looking for 10.50 to 10.80, or sorry, 11.50 to 11.80 high of day. Uh, from which we reject and then we pull back, likely coming all the way back down uh, to 1060, 1070 to form support. So again, tomorrow's price action, we're looking for more upside to 1150 to 1180, uh, which is actually historical resistance right here, the bottom of the previous chop zone, 2021 cycle, 1160. Uh, so we do have resistance here. I'm expecting that's tomorrow's high of day, 11, 1150 to 1180 roughly, and then from there rejecting, pulling back to 1070, 1060 range, where we close today to establish support here. 
Um, and then probably Ving end of day, uh, closing somewhere in the middle of that. Uh, this would probably end up looking like a gravestone doji. Not that it really matters, but uh, just guessing what tomorrow's daily candle would look like. This looks amazing. Genuinely, I'm probably not showing it right now how actually fucking hype I am and just, you know, it, it, it looks amazing. Genuinely, this is tracking fucking perfectly, perfectly, and it's lining up for next week for a squeeze. It looks amazing. So this is the third bottom all-time low compared to the present third bottom all-time low, the uptrend out, the uptrend out, the rejection, the rejection, the chop zone, the chop zone. Now we are playing out January 15th. This is the end of the macro. The symmetry now, uh, here it is. Few more landmarks here. So I added this square and this line across here. Uh, that would be the equivalent of the, the, the symmetry of this move popping up even higher here, but still not as high as the, the local high of this range. Uh, same over here. And then again, tomorrow, we're looking for this move here, which is higher than the local high of this range. And that would likely be that 1050 to 10, uh, sorry, fuck, 1150 to 1180 move. And then pulling back to form support on 1060, 1070. Uh, yes, we did not pull back to the 940 to 960 today. That ship is fucking sailed. It's not happening. Um, that's it. More upside tomorrow and then pulling back more than likely to this to today's close. Um, the resistance of today, 1070, after tomorrow's high of day at 1160, pulling back to 1070, 1060 to form support here before we move higher. This looks great. So for the, the regular, you know, tracking for the January 2021 uh, flat portion where we are in January 15th, we're looking for 1150 to 1180 tomorrow. The symmetry chart, we're looking for 1150 to 1180 tomorrow. And in both, uh, both perspectives, you're also rejecting there and pulling back to the previous range here at roughly 1060 to 1070, which looks amazing. Here's the W, uh, the final iteration and the, the financial freedom trend line uh, broke out of it yesterday, also reclaimed the 20 EMA, and then again today, more upside. What a fucking, what a daily candle that is. This looks amazing. Expecting more upside here. Again, the V, this is what this is, the macro V we're playing out right now, which is the end of the macro. Conclude, it's an inverse head and shoulder. Concludes with uptrend to roughly 13 to $14. Uh, a pullback, a knife, another V on the micro level to 1050 to 1070 level, and then a gap up uh, theoretically to all time highs on earnings. So this looks amazing. Again, with the EMAs, just showing you, uh, this is where you meet the 20 EMA, it's where you meet the trend, and then the break of this trend leads you to your macro break gap up, and this is where we are. Uh, I mentioned this yesterday, here's the 20 EMA. And again, I said this months ago, we would, we would meet the 20 EMA down here, fighting to claim it uh, in this chop zone. Multiple rejections here, over and over again. Before yesterday, we broke out of the trend, claimed the 20 EMA, and then more upside today. This looks amazing. So that, um, <clears throat> the other perspective now with Heiken Ashi candles, uh, just the flat portion perspective with the trend line included, the financial freedom trend line which we have broken out of. And we're, now we're looking for this. This is the rest of our macro right here. Just fucking straight green candles into a squeeze. This looks amazing. And then lastly, the financial freedom trend line just zoomed in now. The inverse head and shoulders, the breakout here. What a fucking day. What a fucking day all around. Love, no complaints. Like legitimately, this looks amazing. It's tracking perfectly. We're expecting more upside. Uh, we're expecting green all week. I said it last week. I said it over the weekend. I'll say it again. We are expecting we uh, uptrend all of this week. Uh, and that's it. That's pretty much it for the video. Again, I didn't update these charts, the January 15th macro side-by-sides. Uh, I didn't update them from yesterday. This weekly candle is now at 1070 roughly. Um, I didn't update the OBV weekly chart today. We formed a new all-time high on the weekly OBV, which looks amazing. Um, and again, you know, we're just looking for the rest of the V here on the macro level, which is a weekly candle to 13 to $14. This uh, yellow horizontal trend, like you see over here, that would conclude our macro. Uh, more than likely, we're gonna be seeing that this week. And at the same time, that would also be concluding the January 15th candle. The rest of this uptrend, which takes us to 13 to 
the knife out of it to 1050 to 1070, that's the V, and then that would be more than likely happening on earnings day, intraday, and then after hours earnings, who the fuck knows what's about to go down, but we're looking for our macro break and a squeeze, so I'm assuming we're gonna be getting some pretty wild news. And again, completing January 15th on the micro level also completes January 15th, the macro level, the V, completes the V here, back up to this yellow trend, and then from there, we're looking for a macro fractal break, theoretically, which is a gap up past all time highs. I know it sounds ridiculous, but this chart is fucking undeniable. January 15th, it plays out every day on every time frame. Um, from the one second chart all the way through, it plays out every single day and has played out every single day for the past three years in every one of these weekly candles on every time frame to give you the big picture that we are now looking at here, which concludes with uh, a weekly candle to $13, $14 to finish the macro V. From there, we are looking for our macro fractal break, a straight line directly into our squeeze, and more than likely, the most likely scenario gapping to all time highs overnight. I know it sounds crazy, I really don't give a fuck. That's it. That's it for the video. Um, another fantastic day. Perfect price action once again. Looking for more upside tomorrow. Looking for upside on S&P 500 tomorrow. More than likely, SPY sees 420 plus tomorrow. Um, tomorrow, AMC looking for high of day, roughly 1150 to 1180 range. I would say 1160 uh, would likely be the rejection point. And then pulling back to 1070 uh, to establish support. Uh, some kind of uh, gravestone doji on the daily. Um, and that's it. Just green. More. More. More green. All week. More green. More upside. We're fucking there, guys. We're there. We're, I don't even know what else to say. Genuinely. This is, it looks amazing. Inverse head and shoulders. That is your macro V. It's almost completed forming here. Just looking for the rest of the upside to $14. That's it. That is the end of the macro. And it's lining up for earnings again, one-to-one uh, -one with the flat portion, day 342 of 342 lands, November 8th, next week, next Wednesday, on earnings. That's it. Catch you guys with an update tomorrow, and that's it. Let's see some more green.